Tonight we've got a quick tip from one of our patrons that's going to help you out during speed density tuning. Stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. And first and foremost, I gotta give a big shout out to our patron Andrew who uh, shared this with me and it made total sense whenever he kind of laid this out there. And it's a way for the people out there that have automatics that don't have tap shift and things like that to be able to kind of hold gears while they're going through the speed density tuning process uh, to make it easier to fill cells. Like if you've got tap shift or you've got a manual transmission, it's a lot easier to hold a gear and fill in all of those cells that you need to hit but if you have a vehicle that doesn't have that option it's really hard to fill in the rest of that graph and so what Andrew has done and, and kind of showed me and this is going to work on basically any of these automatic transmissions is you can go into shift scheduling and we're going to be looking at the part throttle shift it's going to show up differently on different platforms the way that the tables are laid out some of them you might have pattern a pattern b etc and in this case we're in a 2004 tahoe that has normal performance if this has a performance mode or even maybe a tow mode it might be looking at the performance table because of that well You've got two options. One, you can go ahead and do this on the performance if you can verify that you can get into the performance table, or if not, you can just go ahead and do this in the normal table. But essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna look at say gears two, three shift and three, four shift well, in this case, we're on a four speed. If we were on a six speed, we may look at something else. But in this case, we're going to look at like the two, three shift. And we're going to come out to about 19% throttle. And we're going to bring it up to whatever our 100% speed is. And essentially what this is going to do is create an area where we can vary the throttle. And as long as we are under 75 miles an hour, it's going to keep us in this second gear. And... That way you can go out there, you keep it between 19% and 100% and the car is going to stay in that gear. You can adjust the throttle pedal to fill in those different cells, things like that to get into the data that you don't normally hit. Now, if you get above 75 miles an hour or if you go into a wide open throttle, which we have our wide open throttle uh, speed over here, which is going to be at 68, it's going to go ahead and shift into the next gear, whereas... The other side of it is, is if we let our throttle, say we're doing 50 miles an hour, but we let off the gas and it gets below this 19%, it's going to go ahead and shift into the next gear. So there's multiple ways of getting out of this kind of locked into second gear, and then you're going to have to go back down to first, accelerate into second, and then hold it between that 19 and 100%. And now here we're looking at something that's got a six speed in here and you can see the different pattern. You've got normal pattern A. And whenever you go into the actual pattern section here, we're only going to be looking at first through fourth and then fifth and sixth is a separate table out there. And so you're not really going to want to do this in fifth or sixth for the most part. The loads are very low at that point in time because of the gear ratios and things like that. But we can still do the same thing where we come in here and say we can set this up uh, at 93 to hold uh, our fourth gear and then 64 on this one to hold our third gear. Actually, this would be holding our second gear here and this would be holding our third gear here to the third four, three, four shift. And it works the same way. We've got control between 19 and 100% throttle at uh, any speed above 31 miles an hour. Basically, we're in that zone. As long as you keep it in that 19% and above, it's going to hold that gear for you. And then once you go and you can kind of go wide open throttle, because if we go over and look at our full speed shifts over here, we're going to have a 61 miles an hour at wide open throttle. So if we go wide open throttle and hit 61, it's going to go ahead and shift into fourth, but it's going to hold fourth until we get to 93 or until we hit 99 for our wide open throttle. So really neat intuitive way of being able to help guys out that don't have the option of doing paddle shift and holding gears that way 
This will make it so much easier for you to fill in your volumetric efficiency tables. Give it a shot. Let me know how it works out down in the description or down in the comments below. If you're interested in checking out the Patreon to become a patron like Andrew, there's a link down there, or you can go over to goatropegarage.com. This has been another quick tuning tip. You guys know the drill. Thanks for stopping by the garage. And remember, ABT, always be tuning.